Epilogue, Hathor meets Horus Ali and gets married. It sure is a lovely day out here. Wow! That man looks so handsome. I sure wish I could meet him. But, I feel a little nervous. I know I'm divorced and a single mother, but my son did say that it was time for me to find a new father figure for him and his sister. Well, I guess I'll give it a try. I'll go over there and talk to him now. Um, excuse me sir, but I, may I sit next to you? Oh, okay, sure, I'll scooch over. Thanks. By the way, what's your name? My name is Horace Ali. It's nice to meet you. You too. So, what's your name? My name is Hatha. Hatha Mohammed. Mohammed, huh? That's a nice name. Thanks. So, are you married with kids? To tell you the truth, I'm actually a single mother with two kids. Unfortunately, I recently filed my ex-husband for a divorce because he's been overly strict and abusing both our kids no matter which one of them was bad. What? Your ex-husband was abusing your children? What's his name? Anubis Aziz. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that you used to be married to the most notorious man in all of Cairo? Most notorious? What are you talking about? Anubis Aziz is a dangerous criminal. He's the leader of the most ruthless group of thugs to cause chaos all over town. Um, this gang, what's it called? It's called... The Mad Mummies. What? All this time, the man I was married to, the one I filed for a divorce and got arrested for child abuse, was the leader of a gang of dangerous criminals. I can't believe I was ever married to that man. First he cheated on me with another woman, and now this. He's an even bigger liar than I thought. Just out of curiosity though, how exactly did you know all this? I'm an investigative journalist working for the Egyptian television network. I've been gathering up evidence of what your ex-husband's been up to these past couple of years. Um, do you have any of the evidence in your possession? I do actually. He's not just a child abuser, he's a thief, a thug, and a murderer. Exactly. And almost everything he stole were valuable artifacts. He blindsided everyone in the city by covering his tracks and hiding everything he took. You know what, Horace? If I had known about any of this, I would have divorced him sooner. I was crossed with him before, but now I'm even more upset that he deceived me all along. I am just glad that he got sentenced to life in prison. So am I. You know Horace, you seem to be the type of person who knows what Anubis was capable of. And which of a news crew you worked with must have anticipated his every move. We do. But what we don't know is where he kept all those stolen artifacts. Good question. I'm not exactly sure myself either. But anyway, you seem like a nice man. Would you like to meet with me again someday? Sure. You also seem like a nice woman. Beautiful too. Oh, thank you. Here. You can take the evidence with you. You could use it for the next time Anubis stands trial. Thank you Hathor. And if you happen to see anything out of the ordinary, give me a call. Will do. When Hathor returned home. I'm going to lie down for a bit. Wait a minute. I felt something from underneath the bed. I wonder what it is. Is that the sarcophagus of Imhotep? A treasure chest? What could possibly be in there that Anubis would be hiding? I better open this and find out. I don't believe this. Anubis has stolen not just a sarcophagus, but a chest full of ancient jewelry. I got to call Horus and tell him what happened. In the news. Hello. Welcome back to the Egyptian television network. This is Uncommon Alpha. We interrupt this program with some breaking news. This just in, new evidence has come to light.
stolen artifacts have been found after four long years. We are going live now with investigative journalist Horace Ali to tell you more. Thank you Akal. I'm standing right next to a woman who found the missing artifacts in her house. So, can you tell us what happened when you went inside? Well, I was walking home and I was about to go lie down in my room when all of a sudden, I felt something creaking underneath the bed when I sat down. When I got back up, I checked to see what was underneath the bed. That's when I found in the tips tomb and a treasure chest full of ancient jewelry. Hence, I'm under the impression that these artifacts were stolen by the same man responsible for abusing our two children and forming the notorious gang called the Mad Mummies, Anubis Azaz. And from what I heard, he was also responsible for killing a bunch of innocent people while he was associated with the very gang he was leading. And Anubis, if you're watching this, this is the most sadistic thing you've ever done. I'll never forgive you for all the crimes you committed all those years ago. You lied to me. I should have divorced you sooner if I had known you were capable of doing all those horrible things. And about what you said back at the courthouse, I have this to say to you. You yourself called me a double-crossing backstabber when I testified against you and filed you for a divorce when in actuality, you betrayed me by deceiving me with your lies. Well guess what? Who's the backstabber now, traitor? Thank you for your time Miss Mohammad. Back to you Akal. Thank you Horace. Well ladies and gentlemen, you all heard it. It seems that Anubis Aziz, who was previously charged for child abuse and neglect, was the one behind the theft of the missing artifact, which will now be given away as evidence. Thus, he will now be charged for theft and genocide. And that is all for the Egyptian Television Network. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. This is Uncommon Alfeg, signing off. Later. I'm so glad that the police was able to recover the stolen artifacts that my ex-husband brought over to my house. At least you and your kids won't have to worry about him anymore. Yes. Speaking of which, since you helped me discover the truth about Anubis's true colors, I have something to ask you. Um, okay. What is it? I was wondering if you would like to be my new husband for my family. My children could look up to you as a better father figure than their former father could not be. So, Horace Ali, will you marry me? Of course Hathor, your children definitely deserve better. And you're actually very attractive. So yes, I will definitely marry you. So Heather and her kids help get everything set up for her wedding with Horace Ali. Let's see what happens next. Dearly beloved, we are all gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Hatha Muhammad and Horace Ali. If anyone here objects to this, speak now or forever hold your peace. After a brief moment of silence. Okay, seeing as there are no objections, do you, Horace Ali, take Hatha Muhammad to be your lawfully wedded wife forever till death do you part? I do. And you, Hatha Muhammad, take Horace Ali to be your lawfully wedded husband forever till death do you part? I do. Then by the power vested in me, by all of Cairo, Egypt, I now pronounce you, husband and wife, you may now kiss the bride. Oh, now this is so romantic. For once, I am the end.